The 24th race of the National Comeback of South Texas goes back to Richmond Speedway for the summer night race here. And man, what an important race it is for a lot of these drivers trying to make the chase right now. Uh, eight points now separate 16th and 17th place. Most of the drivers in near that 16th position have bad finishes the past few races. And now they're very bunched together. Um, but it's very interesting right now. Um, uh, currently right now, Kevin Hardwick, though, he's, man, his second half has been a very, uh, having a very strong second half of the season, starts on the pole. And what a run he's having. He's 11 points right now with two wins. So he has an urge to get another one here at Bristol. And Dean and Hamlin also absolutely hot. The second half of the season starts beside him. And yes, um, we're going to go ahead and look at our uh, starting lineups because this is a short track here right now. So once again, Denny Hamlin and uh, Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin picks up row number one. Sicker Rose, Dale Jr. and Jeff Gordon. There were uh, Jimmy Johnson and Austin Dillon. And man, Austin Dillon needed that qualify a good qualifying spot. Uh, fourth row is Tony Stewart and Ryan Newman. Fifth row, Carl Edwards and Kurt Busch. Sixth row, Clint Bourne and Greg, and Greg Biffle. Seventh row is Brad Kosowski and Kurt Busch. Eighth row uh, has... Uh, Alright, messed up. Let's just start over. Fifth row, Carl Edwards, Kurt Bush. Sixth row, Clint Boyd, Greg Biffle. Seventh row, Brad Kosowski, and Kyle Bush. Eighth row has Casey King and Joe Logano. Ninth row, Trevor Bain and Matt Kinseth. And tenth row is AJ Allmendinger and San Jose Jr. And I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and look at the rest of the laps here. What's so interesting about this race now, it, like I said, 8 points separate 16 to 17 with Trevor's not behind, not far ahead. The 3 car of Austin Dillon starting in 6th place. He fell from 16th to 19th last race with all the problems he had. And man, this is one important starting position for him because the rest of the drivers he's trying to get back to are starting behind him. It includes uh, the 22 car, Joe Logano, who is starting... Um, Um, starting um, 18th, and you also have um, San Jose Jr. starting way back in the 21st. Uh, then AJ Allmendinger 21st. All right, San Jose Jr. 22nd, AJ Allmendinger 21st. That's where they're starting at, and it's gonna be very interesting to see. But also back up front here, Lajes like Jarvis looking for another multiple win to help them get bonus points in the chase. And the thing is for Austin Dilly is if he makes a chase, he's going to be up in points because he has the two bonus points. So we'll find out here. As nighttime falls in Bristol Water Speedway, that's where the engines start to fire. And racing gets exciting. Let's go downstairs for this we command firing the engines. Driver, start your engine! I don't think my mic is on. Get my uh, camera position here. Alright, here we go. 125 laps here in this the world's fastest half mile here. And what a race we're gonna be had. Will there be a big one? Will our containers get wrecked out of the race? Have a proper with the mortar? We'll find out here. Pace car is in. The 24th race of the season is underway. Jerry moved up to second place off that start of the race. Kevin Hart leads the first lap. Dale Jerry not far behind. Actually, right on this bumper. And both those drivers are already pulling away. Fans are not moving through the race. I'm just going to try to high side here for a moment. But yeah, the four cars starting to pull away now. Still stuck on the high side now, looking for a 
fifth year, but can't. And now he has battle for a Tony Stewart. Looks like we had a wreck here. And Bob Air on the 43 car. Oh, and there's a wreck right here in the, on the front stretch. We still have no caution, though. Which involved 44 car resource and once again, no caution. Like I said, we still remain green, no caution. Let's go ahead and look, quickly look and see what happened uh, to the, those cars here. As 43 Bar has to retire out of the race. So here's what happened 21 car, the one to go gets a little high, but the 21 car there was just there on the bumper, and 12 car hooks at 43 car and he slams the wall. And because he was in the bottom of the racetrack, that did not bring out the caution. Now we're just going to quickly look and see what happened to the 44 car, Reed Sorgeson here. Um, there are three wide here, here coming off turn number two. They continue to make contact, and all of them come together here. And they remain three wide, actually. And once again, the 21 car of, of uh, Ryan Blaney hooks into the 44 car and spins him out. All three, all three of them were running very hard, racing for three wide, way in the backfield, and he hits the wall once again because he was in, was in, when he was off the racetrack that did not bring out the caution. All right, three car breakaway now between these uh, three, the top three. Austin Dillon, the three car, has fallen all the way back to 15th position. And AJ Allmendinger has moved up um, in inside the top 13. So that's going to be very interesting. And also, Joe uh, jo Legano in the 22 car. If we can find him here. Let's look at an update with 22 car, Joe Legano. Way back in the pack, actually. I mean, way back. 29th position. And he has some work to do. Because he just does not have a very far point sweep. Has currently led all up so far this race, but they'll do it's not far behind, not far behind until so still is Jeff Gordon. Oh, and we have a spinner here. Looks like the 17 car Ricky Stowns Jr. has gone around, and that will bring out the caution. So the first caution of the race has happened here on lap number 18. We bought the 17 car Rick Sales Jr. And yeah. Alright, let's see here. Looks like most of the drivers are going to take their uh, pit stops, if I'm correct. Alright, so that's gonna take pitch stops. We're just gonna go in and look and see what happened to bring out the caution with uh, the 17 car Rick Sanders Jr. Alright, so this was for the 18th position here. Uh, Matt Kinson was on the inside of uh, there. And he also came into the 18 car of Kyle Bush and that ends up spinning him. 18 car actually hits the wall. And yeah. 17 hits the wall as well. 
That's pretty much the first incident for Kyle Bush. I don't know how long. Maybe back at uh, Talladega, to be honest. The last time he got involved in a wreck. But it looks like the 18 car was just an innocent victim there. And yeah. Let's look at them one more time here. Yeah, 20, 20 car was there. It was like on the inside to try and get the 17 car loose. He did a little bit, but it was too much. 18 car slams the wall, and yeah. And it doesn't really matter for uh, <laughs> for Kyle Bush and 18 because holy crap. Uh, actually, maybe not, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, even though that wreck had, I think he's still even in the points lead right now, but. This is what I'm on this game for. Yeah. Alright, back here live at Bristol Motor Speedway. But get ready for the restart here on lap number 23. Barry with our first caution. Top run, top 10 rundown very quickly. Kevin Harvick's first, Dale Jr. second, Jeff Gordon third, Jimmy Johnson fourth, fifth is Tony Stewart, sixth is Clint Boyer, seventh is Mark George Jr., eighth is Brian Thicker, ninth is Casey King, and top in the roundup top 10 is uh, Brad Kozlowski. Oh wow, a lot of a lot of movement in the back there. I'm pretty sure Bristol, you can run both lines here as, as the way the track is looking like. And Kevin Harvard already to the early, early, already pulling away very fast here. Once again, he has led all laps so far this race. On the rest of the field, caution. I believe this would involve the two car Brad Kozlowski. It looks like it did. So the two car has gone around here at Bristol. He's running uh, six in points without a win. So let's get the caution as Brad out. Let's go and see what happened to the two car Brad Kozlowski. That has a good amount of damage to this, to this car. So Brad Kozlowski running the high outside line gets a little loose and the 41 car is there and he hooks a bumper here and also Dylan finishes him, finishes him off. Two car slams the wall off the passenger side and he does have a good amount of damage here. Let's, see, let's watch it again here. But yeah, running the, the super outside line there. And the full one card just gets into him and it hooks him around. And so has Brad, also so has Austin Dillon as well. And that's so important for Brad Kostowski. And here's the thing about Brad Kostowski. Even though, even though he's six in points, He's gonna. He's, he need, He really needs to win because most of these drivers that have won this, won this season are in the chase. There's only one drive right now that's outside the chase. Um, let's see here. Of the 16 drivers, uh, only three of them do not have a win, so they're gonna start right at, at the, uh, at the default number with the with the registered drivers starting with the default number as well with uh, extra points from their win. So this will be very interesting. Alright, back here live at uh, Bristol Motor Speedway. A race for Kevin Harvick so far. 29 laps in. Led all 20 laps so 29 laps so far. And he's been hot so far this season. 
And like I said, we were worried. I was worried about him not making it into the playoffs, to be honest. But he has proven me wrong. And after Bristol, there will be two more races left in the regular season. Alright, here we go. Pace cars in. Back in the way at Bristol. Wow, Kevin Harvick got really loose there. This might give a chance for uh, Dill Jr. now. The fall the lap first now. Oh, is it like looking good? They're three wide there. All these, those two drivers are looking to get their lap back. And I'm not sure if this is going to work here. Almost four wide there, and Dale Juice going to take the race lead. Harvey stuck, stuck on the high line. Junior's looking for his uh, second win of the season. Just going there back in third. And uh, Juice trying to pull away. He's trying to put the 32 car ball up on back lap down. And he will. Yeah, Dale Jr. 15 points, one win on the season so far, looking for a second right now. And man, that hit win will help him chase. Pulling it to over a second lead for, from the rest of the field, setting a blistering uh, pace. Shoot, by the time, uh, by the time this race, I mean, shoot, I don't know. So now they are done. Or to get to Adele Jr. now. Oh, there's a lot of contact there with that last car. I'm, I bet you a Harvick's getting impatient. We got a spinner here. Look at this mess here in the back. Looks like someone is going. You see the four, four cars in the wall. But once again, the caution does not fly. We'll look, at, ooh, we'll look back at that in, in a moment there. But we'll, once again, we we'll, we'll do stay green. But still, Drew not having a two second lead. He has an absolute clean racetrack for the rest of the field. Harvick looks like he will finally get past the lap for Jeff Burton, but he still has to pass the uh, 32 part of uh, Body La Body now. And look at that, two and a half second lead now. Oh, it's three seconds. But this is going to be a good time to see what happened. Um, We'll see what happened there with all that smoke off the front stretch here.
Ooh. Alright, here we go. So here's what happens here. So the so the five cars in three wide with these uh, lap cars, and he ends up making contact with the 46, and the 44 car was there. And he's been he almost been telling he saves it. He keeps the, the car going, and that's how well, that's what happened about the smoke. But he's still good though. Oh, the pace still Jr. is setting right now. Uh, uh, Cal Bush now is uh oh he's running the 30 30 he's still gonna lose a lot of points but looks like a problem with the 23 car of uh, JJ Yelly looks like he's uh blown a mow there that's very unfortunate for him but um great one card Ryan Newman's running eighth and he Kyle Bush is running 32nd so to be honest he may have a chance to take over the points lead before um, this, uh, the regular season ends we're looking for it, and we're trying to look to see if we can, um, if we can reward, we reward the first, the first, um, we're, to, we're looking to see if we can reward the, um, the points there at the regular season end. Um, some extra bonus points to help him in the chase. See here now, um, we're seeing now with Del Jr. now getting to lap track now, this is going to help these, um, these rest of the three, these three drivers going to catch up to him, but they have to get, they have to pass the lap course as well, so. That's going to be a problem right there. Two car West Coast also won the drivers involvement right earlier this race. He is currently running 27th position right now. He's 60 points. To be honest, I think he's good on point on points, but the end of the chase right now without no wins, the end of the chase right now is a problem for him right now because like I said, 13 out of 16 drivers in the chase. That are currently right now in the chase have wins and multiple and so most of them have multiple wins as well. So it may be a problem for him, but once again, it's not that, that many points. So we'll see what happens as he's about to get lapped out by uh, Dell Jr. here. Remains second. Devin Johnson has taken third over uh, Jeff Gordon now. I want to take a check and see, uh, look at the um, the cutoff line, see how the drivers run. 16th through 19th is doing right now. Does that that's that point that's uh, up, that point line that um, that cutoff line is very close. So right now we have the 22 car Jelly Gun who's in the right is in 16th right now. Um, he's currently running in the 15th position, so not bad here, but um, it's not bad here there too. He's doing very well. He's uh, pretty much like a, almost like a uh, using a strategy just to make sure he's not going to be in front of a wreck. And, and does it nothing happen so then we have um 70 film points and i course in our junior he's uh just not having the race he wants right now 20 26 in points a lap down and unfortunately this may be the race that he may get um eliminated from chase contention but we'll find out we still have two races to go but this is not one of his racetracks. He needs to cost her something to help so to get some help with his car. 
did AJ Allendinger in 18th position. He did not have a good race uh, last week. He actually got involved in a wreck that he didn't cause. But he is running good right now. Um, 13th position. And then right in front of him, Austin Dillon in the three car. Horrible few ra last few races. And he has some work to do. But here's the thing, Dylan like in 22 point in 22, he's there right there. So if they gain a little, it won't be that much. And look at this left track, these drivers have to get past get through. Delta still leads already 70 laps into today's race. Oh yeah, so yeah, the winner of the point series of the if the regular season chase uh, the regular season point standings will get um there are ten extra bonus points, so yeah. To get you out there now, um to award them with their amazing season. Now here's the thing now. Cal Bush has already been involved in an accident. If you can go down the hill. As you can see, the 18th car of Kyle Busch is running 33rd, one lap down with damage. But if we take a look at Ryan Newman, number 33rd for Kyle Busch, Ryan Newman is running in 6th place. If we can do the math here, that's a 27 point difference. And guess what? Um, I believe that will give, um, um, we're going to, let's do the math here. That's a 27 point difference, though. So he's going to, most likely can't take the race lead. Whoa, that was close. They were and Carl Ellis had got together there for a moment. But yeah, 27 point difference. Just remember that. If they remain the same the rest of the race. But anyway, four, four, almost a four and a quarter second lead for Dale G. You know, absolutely dominating the race. But pretty much only because uh, the lap cars, uh, Jeff Gordon has to battle. And by the way, Jeff Gordon's moved up to second. So I did the math here, so there's Kyle Busch and Ryan Newman, if they remain the same, uh, Kyle Busch will still have the points lead, but it won't be much, <laughs> it'll probably be about 4 points to the difference, and that's going to be close to, because those bonus points, um, if you win the regular season, will be very beneficial for the, for the whole for the rest of the chase. Anyway, D Dale Jr. continues to dominate here at Bristol. I think Jeff Gordon has a slightly faster car, but he just can't get past lap cars fast enough. Already 85 laps into today's race. I believe pit stops are about to get on their way here at Bristol. We have multiple drivers coming down pit road. There should be 
I believe the one and only pit stop of the race. I believe, I think, but I don't. But it's not no promises. So Delta is down down the pit road, making the whole trip around there. Uh, Jeff Gordon has, has stayed out. Jeff Gordon's now back in pit road, but he did lit a lap, so that's an extra point for him. And, I, I'm, I'm, and when we get to the chase here, that extra point is going to be very important. Because that will decide if you win the race, I mean, get in, get in the next round or don't get in the next round. It could also be a difference of making, of, um, winning the championship or losing the championship. Um, but, um... No points. So the only points that will matter here is for the championship races. Uh, if you, if the first person um, in the top four is the first person first, will win, win the championship. Uh, back with down the ninety-five car, I saved him the lead briefly, but uh, he's, yeah, he's still currently in a race. He's currently in a race lead, and boy, what if the caution does come out though? He's gonna try to stretch it out for a little bit here. But man, if the question does come out here, that's gonna trap a lot of these drivers one lap down. There's currently six cars on the lead lap right now. He's still being aggressive trying to pass them though. Oh, we can check the Red Stales Jr. there. And Tony Stewart hits the wall. And 95 cars spin now on pit roads. A lot of cars in the wall. So now that puts uh, 18, uh, um, I believe the 18 car, no, uh, yeah, 18 cars now on pit road. So now the lead's now going to go back to the 8 car of Dale Jr., I believe. I believe, I think they can make it the rest of the way, but I'm not really sure. Uh, actually, they did not pit that last, um, the last caution. They, most of the drivers did not pit, so we'll find out here in a moment. Do they have enough fuel? We'll figure out, it, and a caution here may change everything. But Del Gier currently has a seven second lead now. And heavy lap traffic. Caution. And there's a problem with the 46 car and upside down is the uh, 51 car of Justin Allgaier and that route the caution. Boy, that's going to trap a lot of drivers one lap down. At the time of the caution, there were only 13 cars on the lead lap. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens to bring out the caution. Oh, man. Alright, so here's what happened here. So the five car gets into the 51 car, just not a car. Just not guy hits the wall inside wall and just not guy trying to get up back up the racetrack gets into the five car of Casey Kane and they both slam into the wall. Uh Carl Ellis nowhere to go. Fifty one car rolls over and oh wow. Forty six car nowhere to go. He looks already committed to the inside line. And fifty one car remains over. Yeah. 
There's it again, and once again, for the spectator cam, five core hits, it goes, it's, it goes, uh, 51 core hits the wall of Justin Allgaier, in case, it, and then they go, both of them come together, call it out for no words to go, and 51 card road gets over, and then, wow, 46 card with nowhere to go, it's him upside down, and yeah, that does it for most of those drivers who are involved in the, re the wreck. One more look here. Hmm. With the roll over, and then the 46 car just, ooh, slams right into him. I was like, a, like on board of a Casey game here and see what he saw. Of color, I would see here. This is just so, so fast that it's kind of like impossible to avoid the rat if you want to evolve it. Anyway, the green flag's back out here. 